The BBC prides itself on free speech around the world and now it has silenced its biggest star for daring to speak freely. Gary Lineker, the football star who has been presenting the match of the day program for the BBC since 1999 has been suspended over a simple tweet. He said the government and the government's move to deny any rights to illegal migrants such as the right to judicial appeal, that they should be bundled off at the earliest uh, to Rwanda or some other country considered safe, never be allowed to enter Britain again, that these were measures reminiscent of German policy in the 1930s. In other words, a bit Nazi-like. Many do agree, many do not, but the position on migrants is not the issue here. BBC suspended Lineker from presenting his program on the grounds that he had tweeted his views on the proposed illegal migration bill without seeking permission from the BBC. Lineker, who is BBC's highest paid star, around $2 million a year, presents a program on football. Hi there. Have you heard from the BBC, Gary? I'm always talking to the BBC. What has the Director General said anything to you? Um, yeah. What's he said? He said, well, we have a chat, we chat often. Yeah. Anything about the tweet, Gary? Do you, do you regret sending the tweet at all? No. Do you stand by what you said? Sorry? His tweet was a view on a bill on migration, an entirely different matter. BBC is punishing him clearly because the views he expressed are contrary to those of the government. Never forgetting, of course, that it is the government and the taxes that it collects that pays for the BBC. I've got a train to catch. Well, I've heard that there's been some different competing and conflicting reports on this. So obviously this is just a matter for Gary Lineker and for the BBC. But my concern is that really the focus on this is being used by the government, both to find someone to blame and also to distract from their own serious failures on policies and the fact that we've just not seen a strong enough and a big enough new agreement with France, given the challenges that we face. Wouldn't want to silence anybody's opinions. I know he'll argue that he's not a politics presenter or a news presenter or so on, but he's clearly overstepped the mark here. I mean, what he said was grossly offensive and he doesn't seem to be showing any contrition. Lineker has refused to withdraw his tweet and now one after the other, football stars, presenters, players, clubs, they're pulling out from speaking with the BBC in relation to the football matches. BBC is now seeking to present this as a virtue. It says the match of the day that is played out on Saturdays will now be shown, as it says, without studio presentations or punditry. Overnight, BBC is dismissing its own star's presentation as some sort of punditry. The loss to BBC's reputation seems far greater than any to Lineker.